All right, folks, welcome back to the Fight Station. Today's video, we're going to be discussing the ongoing saga surrounding Chantel Cameron and Ellie Scottney's removal from the May 20th card over basically being trained by Shane McGuigan. Just, I'm sure you all know the, the backstory by now. Uh, Chantel Cameron has basically requested that Ellie Scottney be removed from the card due to the fact she's trained by Shane McGuigan, who Chantel Cameron was previously trained by. Obviously, didn't end in the best of terms. She's claimed she doesn't feel comfortable around Shane McGuigan, so on and so forth. We're not going to go over too much. It's been all over social media the past couple of days. What's happened today is Shane McGuigan's issued a statement in response to that. I'm um, not going to read it all. It's available on Twitter and across all social media if you want to read it. Just the key points are, obviously, he rejects the, the claims from Chantel Cameron about her treatment. Um, he, he says things were all done by the book, essentially. She's all, he's always wished Chantel well, um, and he's only issuing a response now in response to the... Uh, the damaging and false accusations he described them as. Uh, he's went on to say that Chantel and Ellie have fought in the same cards before and it's never been an issue. Then the key part of the statement, he suspect other forces are involved here. We'll come on to that. Um, I think we all know what he's hinting at. Um, he's in response to Chantel's claim that her mental health has suffered as a result of his treatment. He said he'd never do anything to affect the mental health of any fighter. He's gone through his own struggles, so on and so forth. He hopes it can be resolved so well he can get the fight she's dreamed of and he'll be making no further comment. Uh, that's basically a too long don't read. As I say, you can go and check it out for yourself and see what you make of it. Um, just on the whole situation, I mean, at the end of the day, it's it's you feel for Ellie Scottney at the end of the day. She's a, a victimless party in this. I think both sides would agree with that. Um, it's a shame, obviously, biggest fight of her career on a monumental night for women's boxing. And whilst Eddie Hearn has said in an interview last night, the fight will be rescheduled and she'll get it either a week or two after. It's 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 not going to be on the same occasion, you'd imagine. And, you know, you do feel for Ellie Scottney. We don't know what's going on behind closed doors. The general consensus is very much on the side of Ellie Scottney. Um as I say, I'm not accusing Shane McGuigan of anything, um, and there certainly is a chance that there could be ulterior motives to this. Um, Chantel Cameron, obviously an ex-MTK fighter who the McGuigans have had uh, a fractured relationship with, to say the least, but you don't know, so I'm not going to condemn either side here. I just, I do think it's a real shame for Ellie Scott, and, and whilst she is going to by all the sounds of it, get the, the fight rescheduled. She clearly had her heart set on fighting on that historic Katie Taylor homecoming card. And that is, you know, off off the table. Now I think that's that's that ship is sealed for, which is a shame. Um so yeah, uh, I think I'll leave it there. I don't want to nail my, my colours too much to either mast here, um, particularly with the nature of who these external forces that Shane McGuigan's referring to are. Um I think we all know the answer to that. But we'll wrap it up there. Uh, if you've made it this far, uh, leave a like, uh, subscribe to the Fight Station, comment your thoughts. Who do you see at fault here? Do you agree with the consensus that, you know, Chantel Cameron's thrown her toys out of the pram? Uh, what do you think of Shane McGuigan's claims that sort of other forces are at work here? Uh, or do you side with Chantel Cameron? Let me know regardless. As I say, subscribe to the Fight Station and thanks very much for watching.